1901 in time. Um, the Amherst Zoning Board of Appeals uh, will meet virtually 6 p.m. Uh, pursuant to Chapter 30 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via, via technological means. Uh, do I need to read the rest of that, Rob? No, you don't. Like, and I would recommend just going through the agenda, each um, part okay. of the agenda, just to give an overview. Yeah. Uh, so to begin with, we're going to do a roll call. Uh, then we're going to work to approve the minutes from February 8th of 2024 and February 22nd of 2024. Uh, we are going to hopefully move to continue the public hearing on FY 2024-16. That's before us tonight. Uh, public meeting, discussion, general comment period, and any other business not anticipated within 48 hours. So... We'll start with doing a roll call. So myself, uh, Acting Chair Philip White, present. Uh, Hilda Greenbaum. Here. David Sloviter. Here. And Sarah Marshall. Here. Uh, also on the call, we have Rob Wachello. And we're not expecting anyone else, are we? Nope. Yeah, I, mean, I hope no not. I would hate to draw uh -huh. someone for literally like a 20 minute, <laughs> max 20 minute meeting. No, just me. It's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but um, so first thing, uh, like I said, has, has everyone had a chance to look over the minutes for the February 8th, 2024 meeting? Okay, excellent. Um, if no one has any adjustments, I would entertain a motion. Ms. Marshall? You're muted. It's muted. You're muted. Some people do have adjustments. <laughs> hey. only, only to the spelling of my name on uh, the review of the minute approval of minutes from January 11. Motion by Sarah Marshall. Marshall has two L's. Uh, what page is that on? The first page. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> and, um. And then the third page, the top of the third page, I think this is the archipelago. Mm -hmm. So the ending of the first bullet, I didn't understand what was meant. It says, cause a lot of turnover for that commercial space, but also it would take away from residential area, which is currently in crisis. I don't know what that means. Did you say it or did somebody else? No, Craig said it. <laughs> it. It was from Tom Reedy's presentation. I mean, he he oh. said that word for word when I was watching and reviewing the transcript. I will elaborate on what was meant by that. I mean, my could you read the line again, Sarah, just so oh, I can it, the the bullet says. Oh, you're right. Kyle answered that building commercial in a different area of the bottom floor would make it basement commercial space and could potentially cause a lot of turnover for that commercial space, which I understand, but mm -hmm. also it would take a, away from residential area, which is currently in crisis. Was it just that, like, we have a housing crisis? And yeah, he, he goes like, he, he's been using that a lot when he describes okay. the housing situation. And I guess what he was trying to do is say that if he were to expand the commercial space, it would take away valuable residential space that's well needed. And that's kind of the way he painted that picture during his presentation. Um, but I could definitely elaborate that a well, little you bit could more. You could just say take away from residential units, which are sorely needed or yeah. something. You know, but... We didn't agree with him, but he can say it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. He, he said it so I, I, yeah. but i will well, i'll make that more clear i guess because yeah. it, it seems like it's vague right and then the third page under public meeting just again my name is misspelled so. all right thank you and that's all and Marshall, I that's usually my line what's that <laughs> everyone always misspells my I name i didn't find anything this time isn't that correct rob I guess. I mean, according to you, Hilda, there wasn't anything wrong with either set of minutes, so that makes me feel a lot better because she's always 
picking them apart every <laughs> <laughs> well, I want you to know that somebody's reading them. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um I read and I didn't find anything because I must have been sleeping or it was another rainy day. <laughs> yeah. Well that'll do it. All right. Well, I mean, I would entertain a motion to approve the meetings from the February eighth, twenty twenty four meeting as amended. So I move. Oh so, move. Do, I, or... do I have a second? Ms. Marshall. Yes. Okay, uh, we'll move to a vote. Uh, the chair votes aye. Mrs. Greenbaum? Aye. Ms. Marshall? Aye. Mr. Sloviter? Aye. Uh, the vote is unanimous. Uh, moving on to the minutes of February 22nd. Uh, did everyone have a chance to review those? Okay. Um, do we have anything that we need to draw attention to on that? No. Um, but I wasn't part of the meeting, so I don't know if it's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> rely, rely on Philip and David to tell us if <laughs> correct. <laughs> well, I looked over them. I didn't see anything, so, <laughs> but, but, all right, well, I'll entertain a motion, uh, to approve the minutes from February 22nd. So moved. That we have a second. Uh, second. So we'll move to a vote. Uh, the chair votes okay. aye. Mrs. Greenbaum? Aye. Mr. Slobiter? Aye. Ms. Marshall? Aye. Uh, the vote is unanimous. Yay, the hard part's done. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, so I guess, Philip, for the public hearing, mm -hmm. so what we technically have to do is you know how on the agenda you have the full description for that um, petition? Yep. So you're going to have to read that um, and then just make the announcement that, you know, the public hearing is opened. And then afterwards, you know, I put a statement in there that you could read in regards to why we have to continue it. And then, um, you know, take a vote to continue it to that date. All right. I'll just roll with that. And if I mess up, let me know. We'll do. So, um <clears throat> In the public hearing ZBA FY 2024-16, Rachel and Craig Gibson, a request request for a modification to an existing special permit ZBA FY 2015-00027 under sections 10.33 and 3.3241.6 by the zoning bylaw or of the zoning bylaw to change the occupancy status of a converted dwelling from owner occupied to non owner occupied with a resident manager with requested waivers from the traffic to impact study lighting and landscaping plans at 50 McClellan Street map 11 C parcel 189 R through G general residence zoning district. The public hearing for ZBA FY 2024-16 is hereby opened at the request of the chair who could not make tonight's meeting. And the applicant, the board will take a vote to continue the public hearing to next Thursday, April 18th, 2024 at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is due to the fact that the board does not have a full five member, member panel for this petition tonight. And our chair, Mr. Judge, will join the meeting next week as the chair. Chair, the applicant, and the other ZBA members all agree that next Thursday, April 18th, 2024, will be an appropriate time to fully hear the petition before the board. Uh, do I need to have a motion for that or a second? Or You have to call for a motion, and there's actually a motion in there that you have to, to read off. So you have to vote to continue the public hearing to April 18th, uh, 2024 at 6 p.m. So if you could just state that. Okay, yeah, just I see it now, yeah. Um, so I would entertain a motion to continue the public hearing for ZBA FY 2024-16 to Thursday, April 18th, 2024 at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do I have such a motion? So moved. Very good. All right, so then, Ms. Marshall, we second that. <laughs> All right, I uh, will take that to a vote. The chair votes aye. Uh, Ms. Greenbaum, do, it, do you have a, your hand up? Yeah, I, I wondered if I should make my disclosure now or hold it for next week. Hold it for next week because Steve's going to uh, read his general spiel. He'll do like the submissions and then you could probably give your disclosure then if you wanted to, Hilda. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. 
Um, so the chair votes aye. Uh, Mr. Sloviter? Aye. Ms. Marshall? You're muted. Aye. I saw your mouth move, but I figure we need it on the record. So, <laughs> uh, Ms. Greenbaum? Aye. Excellent. Uh, vote is unanimous. Motion uh, carries. Motion carries. We need so, a motion to adjourn now? No, no, no. Do we need to close no. the public hearing? Oh, no, no. So you continue oh, it. So, so you continue to, yeah. Okay. That's all right. Um, and then, so, uh, yeah, as far as the public meeting, we won't have a public. There's no meeting to take place, correct? Yep. That's correct. Uh, so, no discussion will take place. Um, we do need to do the general public comment period. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Do we even have anyone in the waiting room? We do not. But uh, well, you still need to do it anyway. So if anyone in attendance wishes to make a public comment on any matter not before the board tonight, uh, you can indicate such by raising the, the, excuse me, by using the raised hand function or by pressing star nine if you're calling in. Remember to please keep your comments limited to around three minutes. I'm hearing crickets. I'm actually hearing crickets in the background. That's how empty this waiting room is. <laughs> <laughs> all right so moving on to other business not anticipated within 48 hours mr wachilla do you have anything for us sure oh well, aside from this being moved to next thursday at six um we are anticipating on may 9th which is our next normally scheduled meeting um after the 18th to have three petitions before the board so it'll be a pretty busy meeting um none of them are filed yet but they will be shortly um, April 25th, my apologies, that's the next normally scheduled meeting. Um, so it's the 25th and then the May 9th meeting. So on April 25th, we have the continued hearing for the Shrewsbury Road Solar Project, which Mr. Sloveder is a part of. Um, right. And then we have the continued hearing for 368A Shea Street, which is the flag lots. Um, let me see who's in it. So was it Hilda, Sarah, and Philip? Oh, I was on I that. I couldn't remember whether I was on it or I was you writing. It, okay. I think you were. David, I, are you on that one? I am, yeah. Okay, yes, you are. Sarah? I don't, at least I haven't attended a meeting where that was discussed, and I cannot. Mm -hmm. I, well, I have a school committee meeting, very busy. Yeah. Uh, so you probably were on that panel then if if um you don't have that in your calendar, because they, they would have voted to continue that a while ago. So I know David's on that one. Okay. Hilda, you you might yeah. be on that one. Um, still, oh, I'm not I'm sure about you. It, but I can't I'm remember. Pretty sure I am. Wrote about it or okay. was the... I would have to go back and review my notes, but I'm pretty sure I am. Why yeah. did we continue it? Do you remember? Was so, it because of the lighting. Oh yeah, the lighting, and because they didn't really have finalized um, building plans, so oh, they okay. couldn't show the lighting, and then there was an issue with stormwater. So they were concerned that the site was so sloped that is, it might affect that... the neighbors. Yeah, we so. should really look at the. Yeah, and I'm still waiting for plan submissions from the applicant, but I'm going to reach out to them tomorrow and see if they can get that to us sooner rather than later. I, I would, if I'm in fact on it, and mm -hmm. as I said, I can't remember, but I know I was there. Yeah. I I would like to see that site, and I sort of wonder why we aren't doing site visits on most of these things. So we, we did we did a site visit to that one. Mm -hmm. You and did? I I think it was just Steve and me and Rob. Yeah, because yep. nobody think. Think about it. I didn't see it. Thinking about it now, Hilda, I don't think you're on that panel. I think it's I don't David, think so. Steve, Philip, Everald, and Craig. That's what I think. I think I was yeah. there as an uh, indie writer. Yeah. You were there one way or another, Hilda. You were <laughs> not spirit. as a board member. You're like me on the solar panels. I'm not on that one but I keep being on meetings where it's on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, all, I think it always throws uh, Steve well, off. That's because I'm like, I'm not that, yeah. that's, that's really a hard one. And the one that's coming up to, to uh, conservation this week is more of these battery things for, and this one's going on Montague Road. And oh, I haven't read anything about these batteries that are not scary. They're not oh, going with let's, power. Let's, let's not uh, deliberate. First of no, all, no, 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 no. no deliberation. <laughs> okay, second. Well, we did um, 
maybe it will be relevant to remind that panel, whoever it is, we did authorize a center, uh, what was it, supplemental energy storage site on uh, Sunderland Road, on Route 116. Yeah, I told, I told Kathy about the. Yep, yep, right. and you know, we won't deliver it too much on that. Um, but I do want to also, yep, oh, so sorry, one, more, one more announcement. So I just want to congratulate, um, and this vote went to the CRC, uh, Mr. Sloveder and Ms. Greenbaum. So Mr. Sloveder had a positive vote to become a full member through the CRC. I don't know if it's official town council yet, David. It is. Um, yeah, they it voted. is. They yeah. did. And I, and I was sworn at. Wow. I've already been sworn at. Sworn David, at? Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it felt really? like it. Yeah. Oh. No, I, I went to town hall. No, I'm. it's official. Yes. I think you did swearing. Thank you. <laughs> So uh, David is a full member taking over the rest of John Gilbert's term um, who left abruptly last fall. And then Hilda is going to continue as an associate. So congrats to the two of you. Great. I look forward yeah. to working with you. Those were all the appointments for July 1 also. Yes, they were. I appreciate having you all around no matter what way she You may performs. not. Don't speak so fast. You may, <laughs> want, you may want to put a lock on my mouth. Hey. <laughs> All right. Um, if there's no other business before the board, uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. There we go. Do I have a second? Second. Excellent. Uh, so to call that to the vote, uh, the chair votes aye. Mrs. Greenbaum? Aye. Uh, Ms. Marshall? Aye. Mr. Sloboder? Yes. As that motion is not up for debate, which we should have done before that, but we're not going to. Um, uh, and I'll call this meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals, the town of Amherst, uh, adjourned at what? Not 11 18, 6 18. Yes. That's Guess correct. what? <laughs>